Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day to round out the week. Well, I've been this week in the book of Joel, by and large, I think I took one day off. But today, I had an interesting excursion. I went to what they call in England reclamation yards. I don't know what we'd call it. Maybe we'd call it a, on a good day, a salvage yard. On a not so good day, maybe a junkyard. But it's too nice to be a junkyard. It's, it's reclamation in the sense that they reclaim old things and they, they resell them. Uh, some they refurbish and put back together. Others they let you do the refurbishing. But it's basically the process of taking something old or <coughs> something out of a garage or something and fixing it up and using it again. And it reminded me of the natural metaphor for what God does in our lives, but it also reminded me of a passage in Joel. So I thought I'd finish the week with Joel and, and do so with uh, my excursion today as the backdrop. The passage out of Joel comes from the second chapter. It's in verses 25 into 26. And God says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts have eaten, uh, the hopper, the destroyer. God says, I'm going to restore that. I'm going to reclaim you. I'm going to take you in your dirty, dusty, worn down, beaten life that's been destroyed. And I'm going to remake you. I'm going to rebuild you. It says, you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And you'll praise the name of the Lord your God who's dealt with you so wondrously. And I really like that passage. It reminds me also of a TV show from long ago. Some of you may remember the Six Million Dollar Man starring Steve Austin. Well, this guy, I don't remember if he fell from an airplane or what happened, or maybe he was in a car wreck or something. But this, this military guy or government guy, got his body was like, really just destroyed. And the, the the theme behind it is we can rebuild him. We can make him stronger. And they spend $6 million giving him bionic arms and, and legs and eyes so that he can like see, you know, like a telescope and all of this kind of stuff. Rebuilding, make better. That's what God says in Joel he would do for his people who've been destroyed, who have suffered He's going to take them and rebuild them. Now, the problem is God does these things in God's good time. And his schedule is not always our schedule. My schedule would be, okay, I've suffered now for like five minutes. Can we go ahead and get to the rebuilding, restoring, and making me better part? Sometimes I might be able to last five hours. But five days, five weeks, five months, five years... Ugh. Yeah, God says, I'm not telling you my timing. My timing's right. But when you go through these periods of life where destruction, where agony and pain wash over you and waves swarm into your life like locusts on a field, you need to know that we worship a God who promises to restore you can go to the reclamation yard of your life and find you in a rusted out, beat up, bent shape. And God says, I will restore you better than you were before. I will make you wholer than you've ever been before. And that's God's assurance in the prophet Joel. And I'm here to tell you firsthand, that's the way he's dealt with me. And it's certainly to, to, to praise the glorious name of God for the ways he has wondrously reclaimed his people. And think about it. It's your video thought for the day.